Hello, everybody. I'm a rainbow, and I am so excited because now you are going to get to play with Logic Gates in Yeeps and make some awesome creations. And I am going to try to explain the basics of these Logic Gates to you right now. Now, this is a basic video. It's meant for people who don't know about Logic Gates, don't, maybe don't quite understand what they are, and I'm going to try to explain to you. If you already know this information, please don't watch the video. I don't want you getting mad at me because I'm teaching you something you already know. All right? Now, I'm just going to jump in. I'm going to explain each of the gates in Yeeps, give you a, show you how they're used, actually show you how they compare to each other and kind of what you can do with them so you can get started and find out what each of these gates does and maybe figure out clever ways that you can use it yourself all right let's get in and get started let's have some fun with this all right to start with i got my little control platform up here i'm using wireless transmitters to uh, start the signal on each of these i have an orange input that goes in I have a green input that goes in I have a red reset that resets my toggles that are holding the lines high all right I all I also have another reset on this side that resets that toggle over there and there's a reason I have to set it separately and I will explain it as I as I get there. So to start with, we're going to take these gates one at a time with the inputs and look at them and then kind of compare them to each one. So the first one is the AND gate. All right. When an AND gate requires two of the same input to give you an output that is the same. So notice we give it one nothing. It does not go high. We have one high input. We give it a second high input. And it goes high. High, positive, true are all states that you can use. Bear in mind we're dealing with binary, so it's high and low, true and false, positive and negative. Doesn't matter how you think of it. You just have to remember everything has two states. That's right, two states. All right, now we'll reset this. And you'll notice, I'll point this out right now, I'm using those toggles down there. They have a separate reset. And what that's for is to set them back to their null state, their zero state, and remove the inputs on those lines so that you can see what's going on. I'm just using it to hold the inputs so you can see what the output is. All right, let's look at the OR gate. On the OR gate, we give it one input and it goes positive. If we give it a second input, it stays positive. Nothing happens there. All right. We're going to clear those out. Now we're going to look at the XOR gate right there. All right. A positive input. We get a positive output. A second positive input. And you notice that it goes negative. So that is the opposite of what the OR gate does, which is where the XOR part comes in right there. So it needs either input to be positive to give you a positive output, but if both of them are high or both are low, it stays low. All right, the next logic gate is a NOT gate. And the reason it's a NOT, whatever input it gets, it inverts it. So right now there's no signal there and you see it's giving us a positive output. All right, it stays positive so long as it has a negative input. If we give it a positive input, it goes negative. We clear that out, you'll see it change back. Not gates are typically used in conjunction with these other three get first three gates to give you different inputs, to change inputs coming in depending on what you're doing. That's more advanced stuff. I'm just letting you know that right now. All right. On the end there with the two light two lights on each side is the randomizer. Kind of looks like a question mark. I like how they did that. Anyway, when it gets an input, one side or the other will light up. Try it again. Oh, that worked out great. I didn't have to do it 15 times. So you notice the other side lit up. 
try it one more time, see which side we get this time. Blue again. So it will give you a different output depending on what you get it. And I believe you have a 50-50 shot either way. All right, the last one down there is a toggle. Yes, I was using toggles over there, but I'm going to explain the toggle now. Right now, you see the output of the toggle is high. I'm gonna reset the toggle. It resets separately. It has an input that it's just a reset. It doesn't look for other things other than there. If the reset comes in, it will go back to its zero or low state. All right, and reset itself. Whenever a toggle gets an input, it will change states and it will stay there. In this case, it's, it's high right now and it will stay high until it receives another input or is reset. So we give another input, we notice it goes low. Take that off there. One more time, we'll go high. Now, honestly, Toggles are super important. They're important because they are your memory for these logic gates. If you want some, wanted to remember something, that's how you're going to do it. Right there is with that toggle. So whenever it's cleared off. So and if you want to erase your memory, the reset switch is what you're going to use. Notice it just cleared it out. All right, everybody. There's your logic gates right there. If you have questions, please hit me up in the comments. Hit me up in Discord. I'll be happy to answer as well as I can and try to explain it to you. I have other videos planned, but I wanted to start with the basics right now. All right, everybody, there you go. That's my quick tour of logic gates. I know it was longer than you would think it would be, but I have to explain the basics so you understand. And once you grasp this stuff, you can go farther and farther than you ever thought possible. It Honestly, it's the basis of a whole lot of things, and it isn't that complicated. You just have to understand the rules a little bit and then get some practice putting all this stuff together. I know you can do it. You've got it in you. Go out, have some fun, make some super creations with this. All right, y'all be good. Take care.